Hey, welcome back everyone for another great episode of Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we're going to find the oil filter location on the 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. So stay tuned. Hey, welcome back everyone. As I said, today we are going to find the oil filter location on the 2014 Town & Country. Now, um, oil filters play a vital role in changing your oil, if you didn't know. Okay? <laughs> so, it's always great to stay on top of your maintenance intervals because all problems start with the small problem and then grow to a bigger problem from there. A great example would be not changing your oil. Okay? Not changing your oil increases the viscosity of the oil and can cause internal engine damage uh, due to the oil not being able to do its job of actually going through all the crevices, lubricating all the parts. I mean, there is a lot of parts moving in your engine. So getting this right is vital to your vehicle's uh, correct operation, okay? So let's go ahead and look in here real quick. This is the 3.6 liter of the Chrysler Town & Country 2014. Don't mind the leaves. It is uh, November here in uh, the great state of Virginia. <laughs> you got to say it like that too. You know, the great state of Virginia. All right. So you recognize everything here in the engine, battery, your engine cover. Now, if you look in there, you're not going to see any uh, oil filter or like a, a classic oil filter with it being a metal housing and everything. 2014, they have a cartridge. You see right there? That is your oil filter location. Now cartridges are awesome, okay? Because you can get a, uh, a cartridge, a oil filter, Okay, cartridge on Amazon for like real cheap. They even have K&N uh, oil filters on there, which are a nice high flow, great micron level. And I'm gonna throw that one in the video description down below because that's the one I'm throwing on my town and country. Because let's just be honest. I mean, I want the best parts. And K&N has always proven to have the best parts, okay? All right, let's get back in here. All right, so you see right here, it's going to be dang near impossible to get that out. Uh, what you're going to need to do is right here. Let me go ahead and see if we can make it. Ah, there we go. Go ahead and loosen up that, that clamp. Uh, looks like a 8 millimeter, 8, 9, 8, 8 or 9 millimeter. So go ahead and loosen that up. Your intake tube is gonna come off and right below there, you're gonna grab your 15 16 socket, okay? It does, not, it does not have to be an impact socket. I'm just grabbing it for example. 15 16 you're gonna pop it right on there after the tube's out of the way and lefty loosey, righty tighty. Now, remember some of these guys at the uh, shops that do this go a little bit crazy when it comes to tightening these things up okay it does not have to be breaking balls you know tight okay tighten it where it's you know it's good and snug leave it at that do not break it because if you see right here this is a plastic housing okay you will break it you will strip it out if you strip it out you are screwed okay you will have to order a new one and uh I have never replaced one of those, but it looks like a fun job. <laughs> looks, uh, looks just as fun as that Taurus I have. Uh, pretty amazing. All right, guys, so that's the oil filter location. Uh, remember, changing your oil, okay, it all depends on the oil you have. Okay, if you have synthetic oil, you're not going to change your oil every 3,000 miles. Even with standard oil, you don't need to change it every 3,000 miles. Standard oil can go five, 6,000 miles. 
synthetic can go 7,000 at like 12,000. It's amazing. There's so many advances that have happened in the, in the automotive field that you do not have to change your oil so often. That's a sales tactic, guys. But <clears throat> um, the oil filter cartridge, I'm gonna throw in the description down below. We, I do have a video coming up of me doing an entire full oil change on the 2014 Town & Country, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Guys, my apologies. Last week I only came out with one video. Um, is If you've uh, watched the, the trailer or about uh, about us, you know, video about the channel. I'm a, I'm a disabled vet. Um, and sometimes my, uh, my health, uh, fluctuates. So sometimes I can only come out one, two videos, but you know what? Don't worry. I'll make it up to you guys. So make sure you stay tuned. If this video, uh, if you found this video to be beneficial and you finding your oil filter location, then Hey, Hit the like button down below. Make sure you smash that subscribe button because I would love for you to check out my future videos. The links uh, to that oil filter cartridge is in the uh, description down below. And make sure you check out my next video. So until next time, guys, keep on wrenching. Take care. Be safe. And thanks for checking out the video, guys. See you next time.